Hi, my name is Coach Justin. Welcome. I think this is our eighth uh, session online, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. Um, this week in our Soccer at Home program, those of you that have looked on the Google Sheets, you probably saw that we had a lot of technical exercises where it was you and the wall. I'm going to go through those exercises with you in the second half of the training. If you don't have a wall, you could use a partner or you could use a curb or you're going to have to find something that will like rebound the ball back to you like a rebound or something else. Um, in the first 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to go over some ladder exercises. A lot of these exercises you can do without a ladder, but it's good to start to move a little bit differently. We're working on rhythm. We're working on balance. We're working on our coordination, your posture. I want you to do things with both feet. The more you do these kind of exercises, it will turn into natural movement and what we call muscle memory. You won't have to think about how you move like this. But again, these are some exercises of how we train the player. Okay, so we're gonna start off nice and easy. I have my, I'm gonna go down and then back for you. Okay, so nice and easy, I'm on my toes. It's just a running motion with one high knee in each box. Okay, again, I'm gonna go through the cones over here. It's just high knees, one in each. My chin should be up. I'm working on pumping my opposite arm with the opposite leg. Okay, nice and smooth. I'm staying more on the toes of my feet rather than the heels. Okay, one more. Good. This time I want you to try two in each. So it's one, two. Good. That time I went first with the left leg. Next, I want to go through with the right leg. Good, again, I'm pumping my arms, two in each. If I make a mistake, it's fine. Keep going, think about fixing your mistakes on the fly. Again, two in each. Good. Let yourself go one or two more times. Make sure you use both feet first. Try not to do this motion but get into a running smooth motion. Again, you want it to be rhythm and have some fluidity to it. Next one, high knees. I'm just gonna go sideways. So it's one, two. Again, I'm thinking about my posture, my shoulders, my knees are coming up, okay? Those of you that are getting through it pretty quickly, you can push yourself. Okay, again, try not to cross over here, but it's always the outside leg that leads. Now it'll be my right. Again, my chin should be up. Don't always look the only way you're going. Be able to do it and look both ways. Okay, one or two more. Again, quick knees sideways. Opposite arm with the opposite leg. Boom, 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 boom. I've got my head up, it's on a swivel. Okay, last one. This time I'm gonna do just one side. So I come in with one foot and it's out. In, out, in, out. Good, on the way back. I'll do the other foot. Good. Show it here on the cones. Right foot in and back and back and back and back. Notice this leg, it primarily does the same thing. So it's this one that's doing the moving and this one is staying straight. You wanna be able to do Segmental coordination, whatever this leg's doing, like holding the ball, this one might be stabilizing me, okay? I may pull it back to dribble, and I have to use only one leg. Again, here it is coming at you. 
Left in, left out. Good. Once you've gotten that, I want the same one. Except you're gonna start with the ladder in between. So it's here, 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 here. Again, notice how this leg is in the same line. Again, on the way back, okay? It's here, 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 here. One more. Boom, boom, boom. I can start to challenge myself by going a little bit faster. Everyone try the one foot or the other. Okay, you notice I'm giving myself a little bit of a breather. You wanna go through the exercise, give yourself 10, 15 second rest, go through the exercise again. It's okay to go through them multiple times fast, but then make sure you recover and you rest for as long as you did the exercise, okay? I'm gonna put two feet in, two feet out. I go to the next box. I go out. The next box, I'm out. The next box, I'm out. Okay, here it is again. Two outside, two in, two out, two in. Don't get confused with this. It's not that one. It's a running exercise. Good. Those of you that get good at it forward, you can also do it backwards. This is very good for defenders, okay? Getting your range of, of mobility back forward, sideways, everything. Again, two in, two out, two in, two out, two in, two out. Notice I'm pumping my arms. Last little bit. This one's called the typewriter. Okay, you're gonna go laterally. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. 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 On the way back, again, maybe a little faster. Starting to move my arms a little bit. See if you can do the typewriter. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Once you get good at the three step typewriter, you can do the four step. So now it's one, two, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, it's sideways now. Quicker steps. I gotta get both feet out of the box now. Everyone try that one. Try the three. Also try the four step ladder. Good, 65. I'm sure there's a lot more with brothers and sisters. Okay, we're gonna change it up. This is a karaoke, but the karaoke's forward. So my first one is I step, and now my leg comes behind and I step out. I step in, behind and out. Step in, behind. Step in, behind. Step in, behind. Behind. Here it is again. Step and swing. Starting to go a little bit quicker. Got my arms moving. Hey, okay. here it is again. Quick karaoke. Yes. Seeing a lot of good action out there. 
Good. Hugo, I love it. Way to get out there, buddy. Okay, next one. I'm going to go real quick feet here. In, out. It's like hopscotch. My arms are going. Okay, again, it starts on the outside. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Little hopscotch. It's two in, two out, two in, two out. Get your arms going. Now I'm gonna go to one foot. So it's two out. I go to the right. Two out, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right. Left, right, left. It's either two. You can do both of these backwards as well. You can also do them on one foot. Great job, seeing a lot of good movement. Looks like some of these goalkeepers have the best footwork, I'm not surprised. You field players, you better not let the goalkeepers beat you. Okay, another sideways one. I step, I bring my leg over. I step, bring it over, over. Again, I'm gonna come back. Over, over, over. This is like the volley motion when I want to shoot. Okay, so again, step over, step over, step over, step over. I come back, step over, step over, step over. This time now the, out, the outside leg, it crosses the inside one. Again, keep my chest up. My chin off my chest. Good posture, I'm here. And back. Okay, last few. I'm gonna start with my left foot in the box. I'm gonna jump and switch. I want you to stray, stay straight. Switch. I'll move to the next box. Switch, next box, switch. It's always the outside leg here that leads. Now it's here. The inside leg is gonna lead me to my right. Switch, switch. Notice I can get my arms moving. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Here it is through the cone. My head is looking both ways. I'm not just looking the way I want to go. I'm checking back. Once you've done it maybe two or three times, now I'm going to change it. Now my posture is sideways, but I want my body again facing one way. You're gonna keep your upper body straight, and I'm gonna twist the hips. Now I move to the next one. Twist, 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 twist. My upper body is straight the whole time. Again, back. Yes, moving the shoulders. These are good for defenders. You have to be able to be here, here, you're moving now. Your upper body staying the same way. 
here. Start with the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Good. One more. I'm going to run in now. Right, left, and out. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Again, it's always my lead foot. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right. I'm looking both ways. I got my arms moving. Here it is on the cones. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And back. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'm going to show you two more. Then I'm going to give you like two or three minutes. You see what you can remember and do whatever you want. Okay? Remember to take a little rest in between. This one's called the skier. Some of you can think of it like the Easter Bunny because he's going to come to your house this weekend. Only thing is i got to move my arms now. I can also do one foot. You need to be very careful with this, that you have good balance and you don't rush it. You don't want to hurt yourself. You want to be very careful, even at your age, jumping on only one leg. Okay? Make sure your knee is not coming in, but it's staying more out. Okay, left foot. Okay, I'm going to give you like two or three minutes. You can try to do any of the exercises. We call this freestyle now, okay? Make one up even. Send me a video or your coach a video of a new or another ladder exercise that you have. Hi, Sophia. I, wait, is that you, Sophia? Oh, and Sienna. All right, two or three minutes. Remember, if you don't have a ladder, it's fine. You build one and make it up on your own, okay? Some of the big coaching points again, good balance. Doing everything with the right side as we are with the left. You want to develop like a fluidity. You want it to be smooth and fluid, okay? Your chin wants to be up off your chest. You're not looking and staring at your feet, okay? And then you want to start going faster as soon as you get the rhythm and the, and the control, right? Again, different ways and ideas for me I would do like 10 or 15 minutes of this. Then I would do other exercises like dribbling or juggling or doing the wall. You guys can take a little break, get a drink. I'm going to change and get my wall out. If you have a wall, that's the next part of the session. Remember, if you don't have a wall, you could use the curb, okay, outside your house. You could also use a partner, mom, dad, a brother, sister. Take about a minute, rest. Hey Lee, maybe you can just watch a minute and give me the signal and tell me if this is okay. Go on.
Hey, stop drawing on the screens, those of you that are doing it. I can see who's doing it. Pack it in. Is it Maxi, coach? I don't know. No, it wasn't Maxi. No, not yet. Yeah, go on and let me see what you got. How's this right here? Yeah, it looks great. Perfect. We can all see. Yeah. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. Hey, guys, girls, I like to have a cone. You don't have to, but I want like a reference point so that I don't want you too close to the wall. Okay? Let me backtrack real quick. Hey, this is my wall. It has four sides. This one I built, it has these clamps, but it's also built out of like a plastic, hard plastic. A lot of you, we've seen some awesome ones that you've made at home. You've used different types of wood and material like that. Whatever you have, if you have your own rebounder or whatever, that's fine. In the soccer at home program, on the bottom of the technical page, there's a video in there on giving you instructions on how to build a wall for yourself. I mean, guys, girls, you have tons of time. Maybe it's a good project that you could ask mom and dad to help you with, and it will help you with your soccer. Okay? So I'm going to, again, show it to you. I like to go about two or three yards away from it. We're going to start with the right foot. Okay? And I'm actually going to put it on this side so that there's nothing in the way. And I want to go one touch. And I'm going to go right footed only. Okay? Notice I'm kicking the ball in the middle here. I'm keeping it on the ground. When I touch it, I'm hitting it with a hard part on the inside of my foot here. Okay, here. My toes should be flexed to the sky so that when I hit it, it's here, here. Again, I'll show it to you front on. Here, here, here. If it bounces a little bit, that means you kicked it into the ground. So you're going to have to hit it flush through the middle. Okay, I'll come back over here. Why don't you try to go for 50 to 100 right now? One touch, right footed. The key is try not to kick the ball until it gets in line with your opposite leg. Okay, some of you, you want to kick the ball when it's out here in front of us. If I do that, I'm off again balance. Sometimes if the ball's here, my foot can't open there so that when I go to kick it, I'm gonna miss the wall, okay? I like my wall because it's only about two or three feet wide and it doesn't give me a lot of room for air, okay? You can start to go a little bit faster. I think in the homework, we have the first one is right footed. The second one, not homework, excuse me, soccer at home. The second one's gonna be left footed. So now I'm gonna go left footed. Again, I'll move the cone over about two to three yards away. I'm hitting it now inside, left footed. Another cool thing I can do is I can pick out a spot on my wall. I can even use tape like white athletic tape or uh, black electrical tape. And I can make a little zone so that that's like the sweet spot. So every time I want to hit my wall, I have to hit it in the, inside the tape, inside that zone on my wall. Okay? I'm just kind of watching. Again, see a lot of you working on your own. Another good thing to use if you don't have a wall is the bottom of your couch. Sounds funny, but maybe your mom and dad will let you do it. Good. Seeing some great ones down there. Who is that? Katie, though, those are the stone boys. I should have known. Those guys are on fire. Analita, I love it up there. Isaiah. Good. Natalie Mendoza, yes. Maddox, Bella, of course. Oh, the Brunlets have a real nice rebounder. Oh, Lena, I like how you do the bounce one, too. Gracie, good job. Yes, Zakito, Aiden. Aiden, get to work. Come on, buddy. What are you watching me for? Get to work, Aiden. 
Okay. Second one, it's two touches. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my right foot again. Soccer at home, we asked you to do 100. 100 touches, one touch, right footed. 100 touches, left footed, one touch. Now we're on to two touch, okay? So I'm gonna show you a couple basic ones to start, all right? Uh, when I touch it, I receive it with the same foot and play it back. Same foot and play it back. Same foot. I'm receiving it all with the inside. 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 Okay? I'll let you go for that one for a little while. Two touch. Just use the inside. Your touch should be in front of you straight. So as it comes back off the wall, I'm keeping it here. Again, the wall is good for your accuracy. If I hit it too far at an angle, it may come back to my left foot. If I do that, I have to quickly adjust and still take it with my right foot. But now I can control where I pass the ball back on the wall. Hey, this is very important when you're playing your teammate and you now have to play the ball away from pressure. You might have to play their high foot, okay? the foot that's farthest down the field. But with your accuracy with passing, you have to be able to do it on purpose, not just, oh, you know, Sophie's open, so I'm gonna kick it to her. No, I'm gonna kick it to her high foot so she can turn because we're gonna go score. I wanna show you another variation with the right foot, okay? This time I'm gonna put my cone a little in the middle. As I play it off, I'm gonna play it a little at an angle. Now I have to receive with my left foot and bring it back for my right foot. Across, back, across, back, across, back, across, back. Now, those of you that play on my team, you know that whenever we talk about passing, we talk a lot about the speed of your pass. So guys, girls, don't kick the ball too soft so that when it hits the wall, it doesn't come back to you. We would rather have you be able to trap really hard balls coming back fast than slow ones. Slow ones are easy. Hard ones make you a baller, okay? The other thing is give yourself more room and distance if you need to. Sometimes you wanna go too fast and you kick too hard, but you don't have enough room to move with the ball. So again, it's here. I play it with the right foot. I bring it across with my left for the other. I bring it across, okay? I can also do the same thing, but I'm gonna receive it with the right foot and touch it at an angle. So here it is, across my cone, I have to adjust. Now I have to touch it across my cone. I have to adjust across my cone. I didn't hit it hard enough. Harder, coach, across, here, across, here, across, bigger touch. The cone will force me to have to have a bigger touch. Here, across. So incorporate the cone now like a defender, okay? Again, touch it one way and either receive it with the outside foot across or come across. Receive it with the same foot. Here, here. Different ways to touch it with your right foot, two touches receiving. Same foot, same foot at an angle, opposite foot across my body. See if you can do the left foot now. Mm. What'd you do? Sorry. Where are you? 
I'm here. Can you see me? No, I can't. Dad. Yeah, go. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's weird. Go to the bottom. Uh, did you lose the... Um... Somebody called on my phone and it popped out. So just move your, your cursor down to the bottom of your screen and hit the zoom icon. It should pop back up. Let's see. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. We still got the group going. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, girls, do your left foot. Um, I don't see it, Hammer. Move your cursor down to the bottom of your Mac, where normally all your icons are, like your Finder, Safari, Mail. Oh, there it is. And then hit the zoom icon. The zoom icon, huh? There yep. it is. Okay, sorry. You back with us? Okay, left-footed guys and girls. And if you had to take a break, you take one in between, but get to the left foot now. Look, same foot, right in front of me. When I also have the cone up here in front, it forces me to have to trap the ball at a certain spot. So it's here, I want it in front of me, it's here, it's here. Notice I'm not letting it go here and then it's oh all over, or here and it's behind me. Once you've done your 50 in front, now you can start to hit it at an angle, across your body with the right, across your body with the right, across, okay? Everything's left footed now. Notice I'm stepping into the ball, keeping it low. Hey, if it's not perfect, don't worry. That's not soccer, it's never perfect. Sometimes the ball comes back to you higher. Sometimes it's bouncing. You have to adjust. So different kind of touches off your wall, they're great. You need to be able to do lots of different touches. Okay, another one I didn't show you with the right. Okay, but I will show you with the left is I'm gonna touch it with the left and I'm gonna touch it outside of the foot, okay? Outside of the foot, now I just come back. Touch it again, forward, outside of the foot, touch it. Touch it again, left footed, whoop. Left footed, outside of the foot, okay. This is a very risky way to trap the ball. I wouldn't suggest this uh, unless you're very, very good at receiving with the inside. The outside is like for wingers or attackers or like your last ditch effort to like push the ball and accelerate and get away. But again, you push it off the wall, take it with the outside of the foot, play it again, receive it, touch it, outside of the foot, be able to do both. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. Okay, because we're gonna start working on some turns. Before we go to the turns, so far we've only been talking about passing with the inside. This is a one touch one where I use both feet. Okay, I gotta get it low. Both feet. In my backyard, it's a little uneven, so sometimes my touch is bouncy. That's fine, it's like a volley. Right, left, right, left, I'm on my toes. I reset, I hit it, I come to it. I need to hit that one harder. Harder ball speed, you know that. That's what I always tell my players. Fast ball speed. That was a good like 30 or 40, I don't know. Coach still has it, woo! <laughs> Both feet. Okay, you can also use the laces. Boom, 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 boom. Again, the key to this one is where I kick the ball. I gotta keep my body over it and hit it in the middle. Here, here, it's like I'm shooting. This is difficult to do if you don't have enough space. If I can back up, I can start to hit it.
Oh, I was doing two touches with the laces. Now it could be one touch laces. I can do just the right foot. I can do just the left foot. What's a good number for you guys? Eh, 50 to 100. Another one I would do is I would see once you get the control down, how fast can I do 20 or 30? Or have your mom or dad time you 30 seconds. Like, Hosey, you got to be doing this really fast, right? Real fast, buddy. Woo! Boom, 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 boom. Okay. You're moving farther down on the list of soccer at home. There's one where it says turns to your left. Okay, so here's my left side. I'm gonna turn to my left side. Okay, this might be easy for me to show you here as well. So that when I turn, everything's coming towards you guys. Okay, so as I play it, I'm gonna take it with the outside of the left foot and turn. So here it is again. My right foot, I play it. My left foot, I turn and go the other way. Again, play it, come to it, turn off the outside of the left foot. Play it, come to it, turn. It's important when you turn that you add an explosion or an acceleration. Typically, who's behind me? The defender. So as I turn now, it needs to be real fast in one motion, okay? And if it's coming in here, outside of the foot here, I'm touching it a little bit on the side of the ball, okay? And on the side of the foot, it comes. I spin off. You don't want the turn to come straight back. You want it to go a little off at a side. Once I turn here, you better get your body up to shield and protect the ball. Another turn to the left is with the inside of my right foot. I spin off. I play it. I come to it. Inside of the right, I spin off. I play it. I come to it. Inside of the right foot, I spin off. Here it is again. I'm here. I'm this way. Almost have my legs set up. And I'm turning with the inside of the foot to take it. Okay, I'm taking it back at an angle here. So I play it in, it comes back to me. Inside or outside of the foot to turn. Once I turn, again, remember there's pressure there. Get my body up and keep the ball away from the pressure. I may get away over here, I turn. I come back towards my wall, play it in, spin. I'm gonna show you one more turn to the left, okay? Then you guys can do all these to the right, okay? I like to call this the Iniesta or the Xavi turn. Very popular in Spain, but it's a way that I'm gonna have the pressure. I'm just gonna show you on the right side, even though we're going left. I'm gonna have the pressure on my side. As I play it, I'm gonna spin to open. So here's the left foot. I play it with the inside of my left. I'm going to spin and take it. Play it in hard. Turn. Now I'm turning away from the, the, the camera because I'm turning away from the pressure. Okay? A lot of you have practiced the spin turn. So it's inside of the foot. Boom. Outside of the foot, boom, okay? Or the spin turn, where I'm opening my whole body and spinning in one motion. This is a very good one for midfielders or wingers. When I'm spinning and taking the ball from the back and playing the ball forward, connecting the lines, okay? I have to be able to spin here. I have to be able to spin here. You should be on the other side now, so it turns to the right. So now you're opening with your right foot. 
Okay, again, it's here. Off the wall, outside of the right. Off the wall, inside of the left. Off the wall, spin turn. Off the wall, spin turn. Off the wall, outside of the foot. Ooh, that was a good one. Looked like a Guero right there, or Griezmann with the left foot. Oh yes, that was Griezmann. Where's Lewandowski? He does this, over and through. Okay, last one. These are ones I can work on the wall, a dummy through my legs, and then any turn I want. That was a pullback. Again, the wall through my legs. Step over turn. The wall through my legs. Pull Cruyff turn. The wall through my legs. Hook outside of the foot turn. The wall through my legs. Cruyff cut. It's a double. Play it against the wall. Dummy it through your legs. These are great on corner kicks. These are good when you know if I'm a midfielder, the forward's behind me. I may play it through my legs, which we call a dummy, and then turn and go get it for my teammate up there. Okay, you guys should be wrapping up a little bit. I'm gonna turn it. Whoopsie. That was a little, little sweat dripped on the screen. Um, I'm gonna show you that at my house, I have this wall also that's higher here, okay? If you have a big rebounder, okay, or you have the room, you can hit him in the air and out to yourself, okay? Off the wall, okay? I may have to juggle a little bit. Off the wall here. We'll juggle, off the wall. Now I can take it off the thigh. Oops, get it again, inside. I can get little volley games going here. Both feet, both. I can use the laces, laces. Remember, you can build a little secret spot here with the tape where you're trying to hit the same spot in the wall, okay? This is great for your shooting. This is good for your passing, okay? I eventually may be able to play it off the wall and I have to receive it with my thigh, thigh. Thigh, foot, foot, up, foot, foot, up. Ah, hopefully I'm giving you some other ideas. Thigh, off the wall. Chest, off the wall. I'm just gonna watch a little. Very impressed at how many of you have a wall or a kickback or a mom or dad for them to play you. Man, coach is sweating. You guys got me going again. Thank you for the workout. Alex, get it going, buddy. Get going, Alex Moore. Gabe, get it done, bud. Hand sanitizer, love it. Nice, Nina. Excellent, Ellen Grace. Nice, Natalie, love it, Castillo. Castillo, you got our boy Hugo out there? I love it. Give each other an air high five so that I can see it. Air high five. Hey, quit touching each other. 
Mad Duck, well done, Parquito, Beatrix, how you doing, kiddo? You watching or you doing? Yes. Yes. Hey, Madison down there, I love that somebody's serving you the ball and that you're working on the turns. That's excellent. Emma, nice work. Sophie, you have so many sisters to kick the ball at you. Good. Good. Moises, very nice, buddy. Hey, guys, girls, again, you have to be creative at these times. If you don't have a wall or you don't have a ladder, that's fine. Make it up. Find somewhere around your neighborhood or outside your street. Everyone has a curb probably, okay? See if you can get a partner to help you with your receiving and your passing. Okay. Remember how you flex the ankle and lock it when you hit it with the inside of the foot, the instep, okay, or the laces. Those are good ones to practice. Okay. The outside of the foot to trap, it's okay, but it should be the last resort. Everything should be more inside of the foot. Okay. Test yourselves. Video yourself doing like 40 or 50 in a row and challenge your teammates to see if they're able to do that. Or maybe you can do it really fast in one touch and you can do 30 in 30 seconds and you can challenge your teammates to try to beat you. Okay. I had a great job. Uh, I had a great time again today. Love these online sessions. Love all the, the uh, participation, all the creativity. Everybody's out there. Hey, we may not be able to be with our teams, but you're able to be, you're able to be with the player now. You're building the better player so that when we come back with our teams, our teams can do anything we want and we're going to be the best teams out there because we have the best players with the best skill, the best touch, the best coordination, and they have the most fun. Love it, Justin. Great message to end with. Thank you as always for your time. I hope the kids enjoyed it as much as my kids did doing it. They had the past. Why don't you lead us in cheer and then we can all go call it there. Give me a moment to unmute everybody. Here we go. When you, Justin, when you're ready. Wow. We want everyone in the neighborhood to know who you play for. It's, we love it. We love it. Write it on three. One, two, three. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Love everybody. What's up if you had fun? Oh, yeah. Thumbs up, baby. Good job, Justin. Well done.